someone. Yo, what up, homie? <laughs> hey, Nezzy. I'll be you. I have a headache from yelling. <laughs> Why were you yelling? I was getting very frustrated with something. It was like one of those instances where I was trying to do something on my phone and an ad kept fucking popping up right where I'm trying to type something and it just kept happening and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw this fucking phone. Fun. I keep... I keep pressing the little X to make it go away, and it keeps fucking coming back. And I'm like, I'm gonna, fu I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> I'm gonna murder an ad. Also, hello, Big Mac, hello, Rhino, in my chat. Hey Dragonite, how's it going? Today I broke a knife cutting butter. So I think that's a pretty good indicator wow. how my day's gonna be going. How? <laughs> Don't know. How is that even possible? How fucking hard was the butter? How old was the knife? I don't know the qu I don't know the answer to either of those. <laughs> well, the butter, the butter is as hard as, as butter typically is. I don't know how old the knife is though. Did you put it in the freezer? <laughs> huh? She spent in the fridge. <sighs> what? <laughs> no. That's no. <laughs> Look at Twitter. No. No. Look at Twitter. I posted it on Twitter. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is like the denial that, that that everyone had when you said that you eat lemons. Just no. <laughs> No! It happened. It happened. <laughs> I was making eggs. Uh, and I, 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 I cut like a little thing of butter off of the stick. And when I did, the fucking knife broke. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Do I use By almonds? the way. I mean, I use whatever knife I can get my hand on, at this point. <laughs> By the way, I got my first dose of the COVID vaccine, and then I immediately got hit with the fucking door of my car. <laughs> oh. Uh, right on my arm. Oh. And it was like, fresh yeah. too. I'd literally gotten it 15 minutes prior, and I just, I hit, like, the fucking door hit my arm. And it was, oh, it was terrible. <laughs> it's even worse is the fact that I was wearing a hoodie, right? And they were like, okay, you got to take off your hoodie in order to get the vaccine. I was like, all right. And I had to pull up my sleeve a little bit so that, like, because I was wearing a t-shirt. And I fucking pulled my arm. <laughs> God. So I was hurt before I got the vaccine. I was like, ah, and he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. I pulled my arm somehow. Don't know how, but I did. <laughs> we just <laughs> life is nothing but agony. But at least I have, at least I have an odd boy holding my pen for me in a little pot. Oh uh, yeah, someone sent me that because of course they did. <laughs> I was just like, yes, Whoa. odd boy. Yeah. <laughs> I got the odd boy. I Dude. got the event odd boy. At first I was gonna make it like a hanging pot and then I thought against it I had some extra space on my desk so I put him on there and he holds my pen now. 
Oh, Hello, everyone. I have awoken from my slumber to ask Doodle, how the fuck did you break a knife with butter? You <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> did <Newton>, what? <laughs> She broke a knife with butter. <laughs> to be clear here, by the way, because there's a little bit of misinformation, she didn't break the metal part. She broke the fucking shitty plastic handle. Yeah, I know. I know it's the plastic part, but still. Did you? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand. When she said she broke a knife with butter, I thought, I was like, what fucking anime-esque shit? <laughs> <laughs> Did it's you... your butter from your butter is the fucking protagonist of Naruto, apparently. Did you <laughs> did you either A try to slice butter and the broke? Or did you just beat the shit out of your knife with a stick of butter? I was I was making so what I was doing is I was in there making myself some breakfast and I was making myself some eggs. And what I do is I typically take out a, a stick of butter and take off a little bit and then uh, from from the stick and then put that in a bowl, you know, beat it up. But when I when I when I was taking a little bit off of the, the, the stick of butter, the fucking handle broke. Oh. Like Dude. it just it just snapped yeah, see, in my hands and thing. I'm like, okay. Here's the thing, you should have explained that at first, because I was very confused until I saw the photo, because my image was, like, that scene in anime where, I... like, he swings his samurai sword once, and then, like, That's whatever is in front funny. of him just breaks in half perfectly, except the reverse. Yeah. He slices it, and then the sword just falls apart. I, well, yeah, no, it's, it's like Trunks when he, th when he goes in. When he uses the sword that cut Frieza into 50 pieces and tries to, to cut 18 with it and she holds out her hand and the sword just breaks. By the way, uh -oh. I am I am slowly becoming um the the Okay, for the, those who are, for what, those what would my you chat call who are it? hold on. For those in my chat who are confused, this is the image in question. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Let it be known oh, that I am low-key becoming the, the weeaboo merchant. Yeah, oh, uh, hey, by the way, speaking of being the weeaboo merchant, uh, hey, Nezzy, there's a bunch of <laughs> new, like, there's, there's, like, a cool, like, pinup and some decal stickers of, of, of Devil May Cry 5, but they're shirtless and at the beach. Can you please assist me? Hey. Oh, uh. <laughs> Listen, hey. Nezzy, I don't know how to describe- Actually, wait, I can't say that. I, uh, Look, uh, Poppy. The... Uh, okay, I'll say, Poppy. It in a, I'll say it in a way that- No, 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 I want to hold Dante's hand. No, 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 no. I already did something. Eh? I already did something. Nezzy, that could mean anything. I'm not gonna tell you what I did, I'm just gonna tell you I did something. So what's up? Also, Nancy. they're not stickers. They're posters and keychains. Oh, they're just keys. I thought I saw a sticker on there. I'm and also no. Are you talking about the long banner-looking ones? Because those are hand towels. Hold. One second. Oh yeah, those are keychains, huh? Also, the big one is a blanket. <laughs> I'm just gonna listen as. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then that one. <laughs> I n I want to get that one. I want to be enveloped in in my f mm, Virgil. All I'm going to tell you is that I already tried to do something, and we're going to see how it goes. What? What is Nobody's that? Like, no, right. Because hi. Japan does Japan does things in a weird way, and Capcom is a very strange company, and you have to pay for them in a very specific way. Dude, I'll give them all my money. I I, I just want hot well, men. Well, no, the life. problem is is the fact that you have to pay for it at a convenience store. So you order it online, oh. they give you a code, and then you pay for it at the convenience store, and then they ship it out because it's a pre-order item. And technically, this speaking, is supposed to be like a physical item at a physical store, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're doing it that way. I have no idea why. All I'm going to tell you is that I bought something. Now shut up. <laughs> I'm very scared. Yeah. Also, uh, Nezzy, yeah, when like, you come uh, what... Hmm? Uh, what's up, what's up, guys? D nothing? <laughs> Not sure. I, uh, I came in here to ask a 
query and my query has been answered. So now I'm going to spend the next hour in bed trying to go back to sleep, but my brain realistically going, no, fuck you. Don't worry, Sarita. Oh, he left. Um, and by the way, when I said weeaboo merchant, I was going to mention that a friend of mine texted me one night. She's like, hey, there's Splatoon stuff. And it's Japanese exclusive. And I'm like, yes. Can you please? Listen, I was like, really... alright. <laughs> I didn't. This I... is like, because all of my friends either use Capcom or Nintendo. I almost said tomato. But they, they watch and use a lot of Japanese products. And the problem is, is that they're obscure fucking products that aren't even that big in America. So they make merchandise specifically for the Japanese audience because that's where the majority of them are. And they're Japanese exclusive. So I get fucking texts at 1 a.m. going, Nezzy, help me. Please help me with my addiction. And I have to think about it because I want to be a good friend. <laughs> Still bitter about DR Mega Man figures. God. I just. Man. Maybe I just. Maybe I just want. I want to wrap my body in Virgil's six pack. Funny enough, speaking oh, of Capcom, just I'm before I got into the call, I just. Like. Just before I got into the like, I joined the call. I actually rewatched uh, the X versus Zero decisive, not X versus Zero, friggin' Zero versus Omega decisive battle, and just realized, and and just realized how brilliantly put together that is. Not just from like an action standpoint. It's it's obviously phenomenal by those standards. I'm, I'm more talking about from a from a, it's brilliant from a storytelling perspective too, from a visual standpoint. And now I'm just playing X4. I, hello, by the way. I just wanted to. Hi. Also, like. <laughs> uh. I woke up to chickens literally being near my window for some reason. Even though I'm the second floor. <laughs> they, they were... So chickens were actually outside your window on the second floor, is what you're telling us. How? Yeah, for some, they were no for some they reason... They were no clipping. They were no clipping. How the... I don't the fucking know the chickens were near... Near the sec, near the window for some reason, and then like, how in the fuck did you get to the corner? How in the fuck did you get to the corner? They were trying to serenade you, Tippy. It's called a romantic gesture. Get with the times. Why did yeah. they? Yeah. They, they were did... outside your house. I just <laughs> want. I look, 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 look. I'm if a chicken chicken comes out of my window holding up a boombox. God damn it! No, I was gonna say the boombox. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I was like, my <laughs> joke, mine. Fuck you. When and where, Nazi? First come, first serve, bitch. Dude, I just, I like, who is this? They fucking the the chickens are outside and they've got a boombox and they don't know how to operate it or hold it because they don't have hands and they're like, oh wait, we are a boombox and then they started screaming. <laughs> We are a walking boombox unit, so, and no one will stop only, us. The only possible possible conclusion I can think of when it comes to this chicken being near my fucking window is that there's a wall that separates the buildings and the neighborhood behind it. So I assume the chicken just flew to my window. Look. Either chickens can't fly. First of all, look. If a fucking if I wake That's up and there's an asking. animal at my window just <laughs> peeking on in, I'm either going to assume that I have been chosen for something or that I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, so, dude, you were gonna no, ask the question what? Yeah, no, that's why I was asking. Cause chickens can't fly. If you're on the second story of your house. How did they get to your window? Chickens yeah, there was literally a whole movie fly. about this. That's the thing! You like, the chickens can't fly, yet the chicken was doing a corner of my window! It's 
I Yo. got the fucking pepper. Hold on, fucking Tippy. Your mm. chickens are pulling a chicken run. <laughs> Do I want to play as Ultimate Armor X this time or not? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's not what we're talking about. You me into that question, man. <laughs> I'm just starting up a game on my own. Look, look, Bolt. Look, Bolt, we love you. But we're very interested in this conversation about Tippy's fucked up chickens. We really, we really just want to talk about there's this. Something, there's something okay. wrong with your chickens. And either they are no clipping out of existence or they're pulling a chicken run. Either way, I don't make the rules. Or, 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 so, or someone entered creative mode and threw, and threw a bunch of eggs at your, at your door. Yo, your fucking chicken society. Fuck survival mode. We're going to creative mode. Fuck this. Dude. I remember. I've had enough of this shit. If your chicken fucking comes out wearing like a dream skin, we know something's wrong. Oh god, no. We can't have dream tier 3 subs as chickens. Did I actually. Uh, who who here heard what happened uh, to the speedrun server that I, I run for Dream? I've never heard. Did it explode? All I know is that he admitted to cheating, and this- no, I no, want to no, no, know no, no. what the hell you're gonna say. So, okay, yeah. you know how I run a game called Dream, right? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. Wait, now I, I am now I am now smelling what you're stepping <laughs> in. I've, Your game I've cheated. Game. No. Dickhead. So what happened was the server got a bunch of new people in it out of the blue one day. I look in there and there's like ten new people, and none of them have heard of the game. <laughs> 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 so I asked them. So, so I asked them. So, 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 well, okay, I didn't ask them. Someone else in the chat who actually was there for for the game asked them. It's like, oh, um, ha have you heard of the game Dream? And they're just like, no, I only know the YouTuber. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this actually happened, didn't it? Yes. I, I was wondering if this was going to happen, and it did. <laughs> How does it feel to know your game? People... Did a bunch people of people come into the server, like, to tell you that he cheated, or, like, what? No, I guess they just came in because they thought it was, like, a dream fan server or something. But, like, I... Oh. <laughs> when I noticed that, oh. I was like, oh... Oh dear. <laughs> a bunch of people come in. It's like, yo, what the fuck is this? It's just like it's a game. <laughs> what the hell is this? No, the the crazy part is, is that the only link to that uh that server uh is on the speedrun board for Dream the game. So those fuckers had to find that link somewhere. <laughs> There is a, there's, did they that, think there's a speedrun specifically for Dream? I don't know. Are you speedrun Dream? No, I don't know. Run... But it was oh, but... really funny to learn. <laughs> How the... I, I, I imagine that the only way people can speedrun Dream would be like speed, going far, 4x speed on his content. I just... <laughs> I noticed that that I noticed that it happened, and I was just like, "Oh my lord, it finally happened!" <laughs> the confusion. It was just only happened. a matter of time. <laughs> also, do also the doodle. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, I I'm I'm still sh because I like in the dream like he, speaking of dreams and shit I still remember I I think I had like the it, like flashbacks because to, to, uh, for the span of five hours I dreamed 
of this of the error of what I said when it comes to the uh to the neko thing. Oh, and how and you like, how you nya? And I'm like, yeah, I just said nya, and I'm like, wait, why am I dreaming about this? Oh, is this Vien Is this flashbacks then? Am I going to have a dream of flashbacks? Okay, dream. Okay. Uh, all I'm saying. Gonna have flashbacks. All I'm saying is, one of these days, I'm gonna draw you as an echo. There's all I'm saying is, is, all I'm saying is, give war a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I choose violence. The I thought you chose I me. The, I just right. said, don't so, draw me. Or is my Tippy. name violence? Tippy. Why can't I have wait. Wait. Tippy. What? Uh, Big Mac in my chat is asking. What you think about Hideo Kojima praising Godzilla's or Godzilla's singular point? Uh, okay. Never. I haven't heard about that until now, and now you reminded me of catching up to Godzilla singular mm. point. God damn it! What? Because... Wait, Tippy. The, yes? the time I make the time I make Tippy Neko art is inevitable. <laughs> All right, so time to draw Bolt as an Echo. Give me a sec. Let me open up my inboxes. My to do list. Oh, All right. Don't tell me uh, I already Neko. did that to myself. I don't care. I don't need to be. A I would. <laughs> I would add on to the joke if it weren't for the fact that we already have an Echo Doodle in Dragon Quest Nine. Oh, you haven't changed the, uh, the armor on that one yet? No, because that's the updated armor! We're not gonna change the armor until the next village! Oh, okay. Yep! You stuck with it, bitch! <laughs> At least until the next, uh, Giant Quest stream. I mean, Wait, even then, it's gonna take a while. I gotta beat two bosses. Before the next town. Mother of fuck. Just like... I... 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 <laughs> it's like... Here's the thing, it's like... I woke up because of the... Because of chickens. But like, prior to that, I had the, the dream be about that whole clip of, of me saying the word Nia. Yes, oh. I said I didn't want it to, but apparently I wanted to because I said the word "nia." Yeah. That's just you asking only had for it. Yourself to blame. I did yourself to blame. Literally, you asked for it and then asked acted like you didn't ask for it. And that's why I feel ashamed. Actually, and, and, and now that I feel ashamed, then excuse me while I go underneath my table again. <laughs> And I'm stuck. Thanks. You did I it to yourself. You have yourself to blame. You did it You have yourself. yourself to blame. Listen. You had yourself I, to blame like, through my end. You had yourself to blame here. Don't here. do that. Is <laughs> English for do that. <laughs> I think she's uh, losing I, her I, mind on stream. Live. I don't know what else to tell uh, you. Yeah. I'm Block yeah, this I, overhead. I... <laughs> She's reached the tipping point. <laughs> if I hear another goddamn pun, I'm blocking everybody on this call. <laughs> even me. Aw, I didn't even contribute it to the freaking pun shit. I'm not even joking at this point. I'm so tired of puns. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will throw you all out of this window. I mean... I will oh. throw you to the fucking chickens, Tippy. Is that a promise? Whatever your <laughs> fucked up chickens, I will throw you to your fucked up chickens that managed to get to a second story building! I still question how the flying Crazy, fuck. Sir. No, I still question how the flying fuck in my chick is that. <laughs> wait, wait, did I just realize that I just, I just, real, I just realized to myself that I said my fuck my my chickens. 
I'm like, I'm that's not my chicken. You. And I'm that's not my chicken. I, I, I hate you all. You made me save my chicken. You almost made me save my chicken. I'm gonna no. throw you, Tiffy. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I just, I just heard, like, the, the inadvertent pun, and I'm just like, oh god, here it comes. I'm gonna throw you. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you, and then I'm gonna throw Bolt. Bro, why throw him? Him. Why him? He is the harbinger of this bullshit! That's <laughs> not even a lie. I mean, you can, like, it's... hear... Like, on my streams, you can hear my resolve slowly deteriorating. I went back to, like, when we were doing Paper Mario, and that one moment where someone made a fucking pun, and I just sounded so tired. <laughs> Take a nap. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, here's the thing, Nezzy. The question least... was, was some... it me that said the pun? No, it wasn't you. It was, uh, it was the game. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> was it like was it the mushroom? Yeah, it was it was Toad after Sky what? had said it's fatal frame. Oh, I like that. That's cute. The Sky made a joke, it was like, it's fatal frame, and then the Toad says something along the lines of like, I went here to take my picture, but the picture took me instead, and I'm just like, ah. Oh. I like <laughs> I like the one where, where one of the toad is like, there was not mushroom in there. And I was like... <laughs> I still remember when one of the toads made a nut joke. What? what? You remember the chestnuts? No, 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 no. They, made a they made a crotch shot joke. That's awesome. Finally, oh, video pot games. Crotch shot joke. Also... Like, I just got out of my table. Good. So you can go back under there. Did oh, you... I thought you said, look what I got out of my table. I'm like, what? No, I said <laughs> Did that you I know went that under... Woman is no, okay? no, I said that I went under my table. Well, don't I do that. I unironically went under my table as a punishment. And well, usually when I got that. under my table... Why is the color pink so done. attractive? I'm not doing that again. And if I do, I'm gonna go and like probably slap myself in the face. Because you're gay. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's only one gay that I have. It's like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say this though. Uh, I don't understand how the fuck did, did this chicken get to the window. In the corner of the window, on, on top of that, from a distance like that. Thick. It's fine. They're pole vaulting. It's like the only vault. possible possible maybe way. Maybe the chick. Maybe the chicken was on the roof. <laughs> Did he have a fiddle? It's a tree starting building. <laughs> Did he have a fiddle? Someone got on top of it. <laughs> 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 I'm just, throw, I'm just throwing ideas here. Like the chicken was at the corner of the fucking window of mine. And I'm like, wait, did I just hear correctly? I opened my window. And I'm like, how the fuck did you get here? And then it's just, and then the chicken just, just saw me and just flew away. And I'm like, how the fuck did you manage the to fly? The chickens don't fly. Chickens don't fly. Oh, I don't fuck. Tippy, I think. Tippy, Tippy, are you okay? What? I am okay. No, I don't think you need to ask that. <laughs> I am okay. T Chickens don't fly. That's the thing that I'm explaining. Chickens don't fly. It's just like how the fuck did this chicken got to my? No. We should just, like, maybe, find maybe out they, later that Tiffy's house secretly, wind? like, fell into the earth, and that's maybe, how the chickens are the second story. Maybe, maybe they use brave birds. <laughs> what? This is when we find out that Tiffy's house, like, there was an earthquake, and then Tiffy's house sunk into the earth. <laughs> chickens have 
have been recorded flying, though? No. Right. Chickens but... are flightless birds. Yeah, like, they're... Chickens specifically cannot fly. Chickens specifically cannot fly? But, like, how the fuck did the fly. chicken get... How the fuck did the chicken get to the fucking window? Like, it is a Wait. commonly known fact that chickens cannot fly. No, my Just like penguins. Yeah. Bolt, just like, like Bolt, Abby, Nezzy, and just, Doodle, just go to like jail penguins for, and geese. And Actually, bed. can geese fly? I don't know. I don't know birds. Geese can fly. Yes, they can. Maybe they jumped. Is he still there? That... Does... They jumped. <laughs> they jumped. You're telling me that they jumped from the fucking wall. You still there? The fucking wall that like between the neighborhood. And my hat, and my bit in the building. So it's like, I, I guess that could happen. I mean, the, 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 the wall is high enough to where you can cause like a jump. And then jump right to the freaking corner of my fucking window. But like, fucking... <laughs> uh, I need to look back on my window and see if there's something that could be possible for them to go to I'm... that window. And then cock it wondering... doodle do in front of my window! Rockling, I'm wondering yeah? if these are actually chickens or if they just look or if they're just a bird that looks like a chicken. Because again, what, chickens what are is classified the... as flightless. You can see it in the let me, let me in, see. in my server. Uh -oh. in, it's in the, like, like in my server. Pretty sure they're breeded to specifically not be able to fly because they're domesticated farm animals. Also, the I went to know Mike. All I see is your fucking stupid knife. <laughs> how uh, also no, um, on that no Mike no Mike in no Mike in my Patreon server. You're still in there. Am I? Patreon. No, no, no. Yeah. How the fuck did you manage to break a butter knife? Uh, that knife. Also, let me okay, check for know. a sec because there could be. I I probably didn't notice this, but uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, okay, I looked it up. No. Apparently, yeah. Chickens are not flightless birds, I guess. Shrug. Really? Yeah, I found a found a, a thing. Chickens on Wild Republic. It's like, chickens are often thought of flightless birds. However, this is not true. Chickens can fly over short distances. Or, uh, over short distances. So. So we made Tippy go and think for nothing. That's not flying, that's falling with <laughs> style. <laughs> You made me go insane. For what is no that from? Reason. You made me go insane. That's from Toy Story. No... There we you, go. You all made me go insane for no uh, it's reason. Been years. So it's just like they can fly. They can fly short distances. That I'm just like that's not flying. That's falling with style. <laughs> but apparently they can fly. I don't. So I think it's because like I'm looking at the video that was sent. These chickens are undeniably a lot thinner. So I think just most chickens aren't able to fly because they're too fat. Big fat boy. Feather fat but, boy. Fuck it, uh, it, but I'm not even... Why the no, fuck I, are I they classified as flightless? <laughs> if they can fly, why are they classified as flightless birds? I don't, I don't know. know been sending, like, Classifi been sending, like, Classify them as they... Like, the chicken. Classify them as they are, nearly flightless. I, th I think the reason why they're classified as flightless is because they, te they can't, like... They can't fly very far or for very long at most they can do for, like... flightless. <laughs> well, that's not very scientific. Not... There, there are... We've been spending there half are... an hour talking about chickens and nobody looked that up until now. I want to go into my fucking biology book, I want to open it, and when it comes to chickens, I want to say shit flyer. Shit flyer. 
They're bad at it. They can do it. They're shitty at it. And they should feel bad. All I can say is that a chicken woke me up and I am like, bro, how the fuck did you get to my fucking window? Is it a chicken or is it a rooster, by the way? It was, I think it was a rooster. Okay, the rooster's got a more. That's the rooster's got more of a chance then. They're a lot leaner. Yeah, it was like, yeah, if you just said it was, you said it was a rooster, rooster, then wait, no. If you said it was a fucking rooster, then that would have made sense. <laughs> Roosters are known to climb to the top of the fucking barn. Like, did you not know that? There's so many times when a rooster climbs to the top of a fucking barn to do the cockadoodle doo bullshit. Of course, oh, they can. Yes. I've been waiting for this shoe to drop. You didn't say it was a fucking rooster. <laughs> That's normal! I think she forgot. Uh, <laughs> but we spent- we wasted half- we wasted like half an hour talking about chicken! <laughs> God oh, damn it, Tippy! God damn it! If you just said it was a rooster, that makes sense! That's fine! <laughs> God damn it! Tippy is going back! Oh no, she's lost! Oh no! She we lost her! We lost Tippy! She's gone insane! Tippy makes about as much sense as Duda's knife. Oh. And just like, just like Doodle's knife, you cannot handle the simple task broken. without She's breaking. Broken. Oh god, Under that's my the favorite. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you know what the best feeling in the world is? That feeling when your nose just starts burning and then nothing happens. Uh... God damn it, Tippy. God damn it, Tippy. Although, God I will damn. say, we did learn- s We've learned something new today, but also, God damn it, Tippy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna <laughs> stop that fucking it's scary. It, Tippy. It's Just scary. because of the <laughs> fucking bullshit that you put us through. Listen, all I've learned is that it's very easy to get uh, chickens and roosters confused when English might not be your first time. Yeah! They are very similar. Yeah. I think the yeah. thing that I find funny is that Avi's sitting there, and the minute that we've like learned it's a rooster, it's like there is the other foot. Yeah, no, I, I, because I remember there Tippy talking is. about having, I, I remember Tippy talking about having roosters, and then she said chickens, and it, put, I put it together in my brain. I'm like, she's making it, mixing up chickens and roosters, isn't she? I'm just gonna stay silent. <laughs> is that, I, it's like now that you mentioned that, I do remember like when we were like in some of our first calls, Tippy would always uh complain about the rooster. They would like wouldn't shut the hell up when she was in calls because you could hear him. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's the bitch. Right? Is the bitch? Right, hold on. Rhino's calling. Rhino's calling Nezzy out on a pun. What? Because oh, <laughs> you said just. What you was said, the pun? Just like, just like Doodle's knife, it couldn't handle it. Oh. That's not a... Oh, oh my... Well, Nezzy, I guess you have to throw yourself out the window now, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll I guess I gotta go I... kill myself. Well, hold on. I, I have gotta to go commit. I have bespurred. I have. I have bespurred my honor. I must go commit Sudoku by Please throwing stop. myself out of the window. <laughs> but, 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 but if you commit Sudoku, then who, who will, who, who will, who will contain all this gay? Who will save the land in Princess Omar Bingus? I mean, that's Vega's job. He's just being a pussy. I am. I am. I am so but sorry Vega's not for the, the confusion. Everybody. Yeah, at least we learned that chickens can fly, even if it's really badly. However, crossing the road. Jerry's still out on that one. 
You yeah, threw them confused the rooster for, for chicken, and Abby, you just let it all, you just let waste an hour and a half of our lives. Well, I mean, that's very on brand for Abby. This <laughs> is very on brand. For Have you Abby. fucking like been in games when we're playing Among Us? Have Wait, what happened? What did I do? <laughs> I've, I've only played one. I've only been. I've only played played Among Us for one day. I still haven't played it. Holy since that shit! Friggin... Thank you for the five thousand bits, Big Mac. Jesus. Uh, what did I do? So Big Mac. So Big Mac says, "Look up Dong Tao Chicken for a good reaction, Tippy." Also, uh, Master Shadow makes a good point. Tippy, by any chance, did you actually sleep at all last night? Wait, what? It's a good point! Uh, wait, wait, Master wait, wait, Shadow wait, wait, makes a good point! Master Shadow makes a good point. Tippy, by any chance, did you actually get sleep last night? I I'm gonna wager on hours. maybe. Three hours. Three hours. You're running on That's three amazing. hours of sleep. I slept for eight, Tippy! When I'm sleeping longer than you, there's a problem! I was standing up to your case for not yeah. sleeping! Yes. So thank you for the bits, I guess. It's really weird when Tippy is like making those those noises that she makes and I'm thinking like she's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of people made that joke. A lot of them made that joke. Yeah. Uh huh. Look, I just... didn't understand a single Tippy. fucking word you said. Bless him, Look, Tippy's... Look, Tippy's just a real life anime character. It's fine. Uh, Tippy is just real life. <laughs> Tippy God, I really want to. <laughs> Look, look, see, here's the thing, is that we have, we have different genres. We got Scarlet, got me, and then we have Tippy. I am, I'm like the normal slice of life. Heaton is a bit more like mystery oriented with like a lot of really awesome writing and like really badass storylines. And then we have Tippy, who is a magical girl. <laughs> <laughs> would that make would that make me the sta would that make me the standard shonen protagonist? You also, yeah. I mean, let's be yeah, let's be completely no, honest. Say, no, 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 no. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Because let's be perfectly honest. She looks exactly like fucking Usagi. <laughs> you know, I was, I was also gonna say, what does that make Scarlet then? She's the rom com. Scarlet's already in Scar she... Scarlet. She. I feel like because of Among Us, I feel like she's a mixture of the rom com Yandere. Because every right. time we play Among Us and Loudon's in the game, he, he's dead. He's mysteriously Wait, dead. <laughs> every fucking time, every time, it's like the first or second round, and Scarlet's like, oh. "Killed my husband." It's like, oh, gee. I wonder who. <laughs> mm. like, mm. Suspect. Actually, what, what would you we've, guys classify got... me as? Okay, so I classify you as the typical like shonen protagonist because like okay. your design is from a shonen protagonist. <laughs> I mean, the reason why I specifically said us four is because we've become the four horsemen of the anime and the Cloud Palace server, specifically because Scarlet's a weeb, Tippy's a weeb, Heaton's also a weeb, and then I'm the only Asian person that's Japanese. <laughs> so I'm just kind of I, I'm shoehorned into this plot line, and I don't I don't have anywhere else to go. I kind of came. I, I they pushed me into this without my permission or my consent. Uh, so I'm just kind I, of here. Now. No, no, no. Can I be shoehorned with you? Like, like, here's the thing. Blame key for it. Yeah. Blame, blame key for it. 
Wait, yeah, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, like, let's be honest. The second I came into the server, it's like, oh, the, the, we've got two anime. And then when Scarlet came, it became like the, the fucking, what was it? Like the Triforce. And then when Heaton yeah. came, it became the Four Horsemen. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Big... Triforce. Tippy. Yeah? Big Mac says, uh, look at the DM, he sent you via Discord. I did, I did, I did, I did look at the DM. I did look at the DM. I, uh, I, oh, uh, is it wrong that I've seen these types of chickens before? Susie. Else? Susie. <laughs> when are we doing the reading thing, by the way? Oh, fuck, I almost forgot about that. The, the thing with the power. We need to do the right? reading. Huh. Yeah, oh, I, totally about I really, really excited to do it, and we need to kind of do it soon. <laughs> Gotta like, get them sweet YouTube views. <laughs> like, by the way, like, <laughs> it, it's funny how people highlighted like my, <laughs> like it, how like Nezzy highlighted my age, age and saying, "Oh, like she's older than me." And like, I, I, I act like a kid. <laughs> and I go, no, you don't. No, 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 no. You don't act like a kid. You act like fucking Usagi in the dub. Oh! I, no. <laughs> really? I, no, hold on. <laughs> so one of my chat was just like, I remember when Nezzy was called Half Weeaboo, Half Westaboo by Susie. I'm like, yes, I remember that. I hate you with every fiber of my being. I will fucking find you. <laughs> Is that a promise? I hate everything about that. Yes. <laughs> That's an oath. At this point, it's an oath. Very poggers. Very, very pog. <laughs> I, I, still, I found that clip later on. Somebody clipped it, and I'm just sitting there listening to myself be like, I'm so tired. I, I think the other thing was the fact that we had had that call at like... You know, the usual, like, midnight to one in the morning, so I was already pretty tired. I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> uh. I hate, I hate everything. I hate having told you that story now. <laughs> every time, every time I tell a story, it backfires on me. That's literally why we have the Nessie meme. <laughs> That's why we have the Loch Ness Monster meme. That's why we have that. Because I think, oh, this is a funny story, and then people use it against me. So maybe you just have a very long neck. Trust me, I'm I'm four foot ten. I am I'm nothing but a stack of pure fury. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm five foot one. <laughs> I'm five foot one. Like. Or, or, it's like, I, I don't I'm, know I'm how. Tiny, I'm tiny as fuck. I'm very tiny. Just like, a lot of people thought that I was younger because of my height. I'm like, I'm 20. I'm 24. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that's right. not the reason why I thought you were probably younger than. Okay, so. Okay, so like, what was it then? Um, the way that you. Present yourself, I guess, is probably the best way to put oh, it. Yeah, yeah, the way I present myself is like. <laughs> that's kind of like my yeah. thing, the thing. The way I present myself is easy for people to confuse my age. Like, my age. And Yo, Tippy is minor coded. <laughs> wait, <laughs> no! 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 no you, I hate it. Wait, 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 or, or if you want to go back a few years, either that or you fake your voice. Is that the Wolfie Chew thing? Oh my god, fuck you, Oh! 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 Oh, that was God, such hate, a dumb drama! <laughs> yeah, that was, that was stupid! That's not even your real voice, is it? It was. It was. So, I mean, and even if it Tiffy wasn't, who like the that. fuck cared? <laughs> it was so Oh dumb. yeah, because everybody knows. Oh. Everybody knows Jara uses his real voice. Everybody knows that. Well, no, because it's like, what was it? I, I had someone tell me it's like, oh, but they're a story time anim, uh, there's a story time animator, so so there's a there's a bit more of a reason to be truthful, and I'm just like, 
No, so honestly, really? I was like, yeah, do you honestly think people don't fabricate at least a little bit in their stories? Do you honestly- I mean, even like, then, sometimes it's like, not, like, sometimes it's not even intentional. Sometimes people can just over-exaggerate certain aspects of the story either because it happened a while ago or because of nostalgia and not even that i would actually be willing to make the argument that if you are going to be a story time animator it's a lot safer to fucking hide your voice so that people don't recognize you yeah actually i was about to i was about to mention uh pre like in terms of in terms of being like a story time animator one one thing you one thing that you that does matter is is how you present yourself. And like, I not think just the to, like, funnier be helpful, thing but to also be entertaining. Well, the problem is, is that that's literally every YouTuber ever. Like, you should be truthful. But the problem is, is that one, people don't technically owe you their lives, and two, there's always more than one story. There's your perspective. There's the other person's perspective, and then there's the truth. And the thing is, is that the truth will be muddled, again, by nostalgia or over-exaggeration, whether intentionally or unintentionally, in order to make it interesting, or because, again, it's from your perspective. Yeah. It's like... And the thing is, is like I said, if you're going to be a story time animator, and you're going to reveal these parts of your life, and you're going to be under, like, a character name... I would argue it's probably safer to actually hide your voice so that people don't recognize you. It was like, even then, that whole Wolfie 2 drama was so dumb. I remember three, it like, I remember when I first joined in, like, the CC. Uh, when I heard about this drama, I was like, I'm literally I, here. I, I remember getting into a whole fucking, like, shouting match with Dulu about it. Like, it was so dumb. Wait, what? Yeah, no, there's a... There's a... It was one of the... It was a Minecraft stream that I did. There was an entire time, like, someone had asked, like, what my opinion of the Wolfie Chew thing was. And I was like, I don't care. I don't... Like, if she fakes her voice, who cares? If she doesn't, who cares? And, uh, Dulu was... Like, Dulu was the one that brought up the whole, oh, but as a story time animator, there's a kind of a reason to be truthful or else, you know, why, why would we believe your stories? And I'm just like, I don't... I still don't care. Like, this is... Like, this literally does not fucking matter. Like, because... I, I would... Mean... I would be... I would You're bet not even you... Assuming her voice I would... Is fake. Well, yeah, that does assume that. But it's like, for, for me, it's just like, it doesn't matter either way. And I... Because, like, I bet you... There are things that even someone like Jaden Animations... Or, uh... Odds One Out... I think was was his name, right? He's the other really big one. Yeah, yeah I bet you. Up, yeah. I bet you. Those two, like, inf or like, put a little bit more emphasis, or, or like, sprinkle some, some exaggerate, half like, exaggerate or sprinkle half truths, or like hyperbolize things. I bet you, their stories are not one hundred percent just. Oh, this is how it is. I. I, mean, I bet you that is. I, I bet you that is not the case. I bet you they do, like, stress. Like they 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 emphasize things a little bit more. I mean, I by the logic of you have to use your real voice in order to be trustworthy, is like okay, then you should be able to use your real fucking face. And the thing is, is that, like, who cares if they're like? That's also a point that I brought up. And correct. <laughs> Like, That's oh, we're also not something I brought up. It's like, why do we I mean, care like, if they're not true? I mean, even then, even then, keep in mind, she was being attacked over the speculation that the voice was fake. Not even proof the voice was fake. It was speculation that the voice was fake. And like, like, first off, you don't even know that. And second, how do you know that I'm not faking my voice right now? How do we know Dulu isn't faking the voice? It's just like, like you can't how prove that. It's like, well, it sounds fake. It's like, okay, define what you mean by sounding fake, because it's a voice. I think I need a little bit more context. Like, this, why this. the fuck? Okay. If if a story, if you can only 
like really give a shit about a, a story time animator story if it's a hundred percent true. I would hate to go to the movies with you. Like, <laughs> what? Oh no! They instead of like, like what was it? Um, my 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 goddaughter Kiana tells the story of how she's allergic to cars because she got hit by a car and like what was um she, she was just telling uh, me and a couple friends like yeah i know um every time i uh come in contact with the hood of a car i break out into um i, I break out into what's it called i break out to paraplegia and my uh, my meds are a wheelchair and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wow, really? I, I oh, mean... God. Yeah, watch this. And she touches the hood of her car and falls over. Oh, my God. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it, like, the only genuine criticism I remember at the time was that she, like, would use, what was it? It was like she used false tags. Like, a lot of her videos had face reveal in the tags. See, I mean, my thing is, that's what I... it's. My thing is, is, and I, I wish I knew this at the time, because I, I didn't, but one thing that I learned after that drama was that sometimes YouTube just puts tags on your videos for you. Oh. That's weird. That's and like, also yeah. very dangerous. Yeah, sometimes it's YouTube does it. It's like, like sometimes, stuff from them. sometimes YouTube does it. Like, for instance, I, like... I, what was it? Someone had told me that, like, I, my, my videos all had tags or some shit like it, uh, like that. It, like, had a bunch of misleading tags on it. And I'm just like, I don't, I literally never use tags. I have never, I have never put, like, on my own, a tag on a video. Uh, well, other than, like, doodle tones, I guess. But, like, outside of my name, my, my username, there, I've never, I've never put a tag in a video. Everything that's on my videos are, are automated. Uh. So, there's a chance that Wolfie Chu didn't even put it on herself. Like, put those, those misleading tags on herself. Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm just looking at a uh, at some of the brushes I have uh, for for alpaca and like I don't have acrylic. Oh, yeah. Oof. Then again, I I I I, I oh here's the thing. Uh, Rami told me to try Clip Studio Paint, and I'm like, I I, I need to get used to this. Like, when you when you realize this entire Wolfie Chew discussion started because I made a I made a I made a joke joke to troll Tippy and the rest of you. And then like we asked, we started a discussion. <laughs> like well, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's it's funny. I mean, it's been it's been what four years? years now. Three or four, so yeah. It's been three, so... It's been because it started... It, it was 2018. The passage like... of time is an illusion. So, okay, so that drama started Man. all around the time, uh, during the time when, uh, I... I think it started around, like, May? It, 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 I, I just know it, it was... I just know it was 2018 because, uh, Ryzen's video on, on Wolfie Chu was gonna be on my worst list, and then I realized that it didn't qualify because it wasn't the kind of, uh, it wasn't the kind of, uh, commentary that I was looking for for the, for the list. It was like a different kind of commentary. It wasn't the typical cutaway style that we do. Uh, and I think also Steve Dinder... Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the people that I covered when he made his retort, uh, I think his video was also considered for the worst list. So, I, I know it, was, it had to have been 2018. Yeah. And also, well, obviously, Ugh. 2018 is the 
point where I joined in. So it's like, by the time I found yeah. out about the whole shit, I'm like, I exist. I exist. I literally am here. Like, I sound young as shit, and people, most people in the, in, in, in the, in the CC thought that I was younger. Around their age. I'm like, no. I'm not. Like, well, it can't be as bad as someone thinking that I was a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand that one. It's like... Oh, but yeah, no, uh... Freaking... Man, it, it reminds me of the fucking... The Uzaki-chan drama that happened on Twitter, where everybody's ah. like, Who's she... She looks like she's, like, 12, but she's got, like, big tits. It's like, yeah. It's almost like it's a joke about how a lot of Japanese women are assumed to be younger than they are because of American beauty standards. Oh, no. But, Did you, you know, hey, yeah. I don't know if you know this. You found the bit. Like, like that, it's almost like that's the joke I, that she looks young because again, it's, 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 here's the thing, right? Is that when it comes to Japanese humor, when it comes to that joke about like, oh, the character looks younger than they actually are. I know the joke because I've been the subject of the joke, and it is a very common joke yeah. in Japan, especially because of Americans, dude. I, like, it's so funny because they even pulled the bit in the show. There's the bit where, um, where uh, Sakurai is, is working at the, the cafe and then the bar and the owner comes out and he sees Uzaki, but he's, like, looking up from the counter so he can only see her face. And he's like, oh, are you, uh, like, a, a grade schooler or something hanging out? Are you, like, uh, Sakurai's younger sister? And she's like, what? No, I'm 19. I'm in college with him. And then he looks up and sees her fucking massive milkers. And he's like, oh, I get it now. I have and I'm like, haha, the bit. Welcome back. Like, yeah, the, was, that, that, when there... that whole thing was going on on Twitter, I was annoyed as a Japanese person where it's like, it's almost like that's the joke because we have to deal with that all the time. Like, from foreigners, or when we're visiting America, or from ourselves. It's just, what was it? Like, you can, you can um, argue or like whatever about whether the joke is funny or not, but like, is joke. Well, the thing like, is, is that the joke isn't for you. That's the other thing that's like fucking that's annoying is that the joke isn't for Americans. It's not for you. It's for us. Like, That's why it's even, funny. It's, it's funny to us. It was made in Japan. Like, can I just go and say? It, can I just go and say that even as someone who isn't like Japanese, I can actually relate to the to the confusion. And like, I didn't find I didn't find it as infuriating. I just find Dude, it I'm funny. gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this right now. My mom's favorite game is to like introduce me to her adult friends and ask me how old I think they are. <laughs> yeah, big night. Because of the fact that, um, because of the I fact that she's like, "How old do you think she is?" And I said that she looks like she's 22, and she started laughing and giggling, and I'm like, "What's funny?" It's like she's 34. Uh, oh. big night, I, I, I don't think. That's that's not exactly the point. <laughs> Big, what? Mac says, Big Mac says humor is subjective, and it's like yes, but that's not the point. <laughs> well, okay, like, yeah, that's, that that's okay, not that, that was that was the point of my point. <laughs> that's is, that's like, like that's kind of the point, and that's also not the point. My point is is that it probably isn't funny to most Americans because the joke wasn't made for you. That's like, where the subjectivity comes in, is because, well, of course you're not going to get the joke. It's because it wasn't made for you. It was made for us. It's literally like when I was watching Gomachang with uh, Susie, and I think Key at one point, and I started laughing at one of the jokes. And they were like, oh, what's so funny? It's like, well, it's because it's a pun on wordplay. 
of, of course you wouldn't get it because it's it's a Japanese wordplay. It's and it's not it's not something that can be easily translated. So the character Gomachan is like a little seal and he'll like make noises, but one of the prominent noises he makes is Q. He's like, cue, cue, cue. And I started laughing because the joke was is that the teacher is writing a question on the board. It's like four plus nine. And, and he shouts out, cue, cue, cue. And the teacher says, yeah, you're right. It is cue. And I started to laugh. And when everybody was like, what are you laughing about? And I explained that cue means nine. Ichi, ni, san, yon, go, roku, nana, hachi, cue. Cue is nine in Japanese. So when he was saying cue... The teacher thought he was saying the word nine. <laughs> I mean, that's why it doesn't probably. make sense. Oh, now I understand why the seal was Hitler. Oh my god! Yeah. It's because, it's because nine is also the the thing that Hitler said. Yeah. I mean, that's a joke yeah, that anyway. Susie literally made. It's like I was asking, like, how would you translate that? And she's like, you could it just be like really, really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like I was literally talking about this because I've had people ask me about this when it comes to translations from like Japanese dubs to like American like American dubs and that it's a lot more complicated than people make it out to be because there's no such thing as a a hundred percent direct translation that's not possible at all because there are certain words that we don't have and then there are certain words that america doesn't have because a lot of the words relies on cultural context and understanding that doesn't translate very well i think one of the funniest ones is when i was watching kerado gunso and the character and i was watching the american dub because i actually prefer the american dub the voices just sound nicer and they were she like the there's a storyline where the mom gets zapped with an anti-aging ray because she wants to live a day as like uh as a high schooler again because she misses being young and being old sucks and she walks around the school and she's like ah the smell of sloppy joes and i had to take a minute to be like what the fuck is a sloppy joe Oh. Because I had awesome. forgotten. I to keep in mind, I hadn't lived in America for like six years at this point. So when she said that, I was like, "What the fuck is a sloppy Joe again? What is that?" <laughs> because we don't we don't have that. We don't have sloppy Joes, at least not in the same sense. Because the other thing is that Japan Japanese schools don't have cafeterias most of the time. Those are like fancier schools. Also, oftentimes international schools. But we don't have cafeterias that give food. The kids will bring bento boxes or they'll buy something from the convenience store. We don't have that. We don't have cafeterias in general. We just flip the tables over, push them together in our like own little little table groups. And then we eat lunch that way with our friends. We don't go to a separate room. We stay in the classroom and we bring our lunch. That's what the little hook on the side of the desks are. You, you hang your bento box there. Also, Big Mac. Yeah. Also, Big Mac. Probably. <laughs> Big Mac asks, does Dragon Maid have that stuff? And I'm just like, yeah, probably. It probably does. I mean, uh, yeah. There is a chance. I haven't really watched there is a chance. Dragon Maid. I mean, oh. every anime has that. Every single fucking one of them has that. Because <laughs> like I said, again, there's not... There's no such thing as a direct translation. Because we, like, uh, one of the most prominent ones is like when you see swear words in subtitles. Technically, they're all wrong. We don't have swear words. We have words that are rude, and it kind of changes the way that you say it, but we don't have swear words. Because, like, stole could technically mean crap, but it could also mean, like, ah, shit. Like, damn it. But it could change. It's the same word, but depending on the severity in which you say it, it will change the context of like how rude it is and how rude it can be to somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just kind of... Uh, it's, it's just... It's a cultural thing. We don't have swear words in the same sense that Americans do. And it's like one of the most frustrating things to explain especially when it comes to 
Especially when you're biracial, because every time I'll hear someone say like daikon, and I'm like, why don't you just say radish? It's like because there is a specific type of radish called a daikon. There's a daikon radish. But like when I hear daikon, I immediately think radish and I translate it in my brain. And it's just something that can be really it can be something that's really frustrating and very annoying when you are bilingual, especially when you may I think the other thing is when you hear somebody say a specific word that may be wrong in your culture, but in the other one, it's it's an innocent word, which is quite common, not between Japanese and uh, English. It's more common amongst the other romantic languages like Italian or French or so on and so forth, where certain words, hell, even with like the colloquialism of like British slang versus American slang. If you if you want to talk about things that are like considered rude or in, insulting, like bollocks is considered a, a, a swear word over there, and, and like over here, it's like you just that's not even a real word. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, a liar. Like you I, I remember you're silly, it's like you silly British people and your made up words. <laughs> I mean, like you silly <laughs> British people and your. I remember. Words. I remember seeing a whole post about somebody talking about fan fictions with characters that are British, and and the American fanfic writer would use the word fanny pack. What? Fanny is like when it's like they, they have a particular <laughs> I, word for fanny pack because they they don't they don't they don't say fanny because over there it's another it's a rude word. You can't just say fanny. I mean, we're literally um. We were literally talking about this when it came to, like, translation. There's, like, a whole Tumblr post about this that I remember seeing where it was talking about one of the most prominent ones that I remember was, like, um, miteta. So, in Japanese, when I say, ah, miteta, I'm saying I saw it. So, like, I saw this thing. It's like, ah, sono ya wa, miteta. I'm saying, like, I saw it. I saw that thing. But when you go to Spanish and you say miteta, it means my tits. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me about Kono. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I'm not even going to okay, keep your me, comments. Me, what are you okay, talking yeah, about? Yeah, you, you don't know who Kono is? <laughs> Do you even remember the whole sentence that he said in that? Avi's trying to make a D's nuts joke because somebody made a TikTok explaining how you can make a D's nuts joke in Japanese. Is well, I, I don't remember the first part. All I know is that is is a uh, Kono Tamada. But I'm also not, I don't know the language. I do want to study Japanese though and learn it because I don't know. I like the idea of you and me sitting in call and just aggressively verbally beating the shit out of people in another language. <laughs> it's just like, I've, I've talked about this before when a bunch of people were complaining about, oh, they fucking used, like, this word and it's not accurate to the dub or whatever, oh, and it's just like, my God. I don't, like, the thing that frustrates me about that is because it doesn't take into context colloquialism, which is just modern, it's just a fancy way of saying modern day oh. slang in which certain words are localized and certain words just make more sense in the context of the demographic that they're trying to advertise to, which of course fails sometimes because of course it does. Um, but it's just, it's just one of those, it's just one of those things where I see people complain. It's like, it's not a true, true blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting here like, Haha, you don't even know. Bro. I Here's the thing, if I can say anything about, uh, translations, like, the people that complain about, uh, translation are mostly referring to the subtitles when, when making a point, and I'm like, subtitles when you're watching, your an like, the anime that you're watching with subtitles probably don't have accurate translations either. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like... That's the thing, it's like, I've learned- I remember the old Yu-Gi-Oh fan subs. Oh, don't bring up fan subs. Oh, God. Oh, wait, oh, God. There's literally I a pro-DD bit about this, where he was talking <laughs> oh, about fan subs. Not come up. 
Yeah, you are my fucking Nakama. It's like, and then in like the fucking note on the bottom, it says like Nakama is supposed to mean a very true friend, but there's oh, not no, an English word powerful enough to like show that or some shit like that. No, then 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 Kaiser took it uh, all the way home, and uh, as Goku was watching Cell beat the shit out of his out of his son, he just says all according to cake and then it just says translators note cake means keikaku translators note keikaku means plan yeah oh, it's yeah. like that was the other thing that i found funny was when the subtitles i was watching like um something and the subtitles and the fan dub translated the character's name for some reason so yeah. the character's name was nezumi and they kept calling him rat yeah, it's and I was um. So it's like... confused is because Nezumi is a real name. It's the name of a famous thief, for yeah, one it's, thing. It's like it's how, a um, name. Well, it's and like they how, kept uh... saying, "Oh, come here, rat, come here." And I think it's even funnier when the other character's name was fucking Shido, and Dude, they didn't say, I... "Come here, white, come here, white, white." <laughs> I just I love so much the uh. Fuck, where was it? Where's my train of thought? No, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I've explained it before, but it's essentially like if you were to translate Akihiko, like, ah, Akihiko, and then like in the English dub, you hear like, come over here, Autumn Child. <laughs> That's what it translates to. Akihiko right. translates to Autumn Child. That's what the kanji means. Dude, I, it, what was it? It's like how um in the dub of, uh, of One Punch Man, Hatsumaki and Fubuki are literally called Tornado and Blizzard. I mean, I think the thing that's also funny is the fact that sometimes the subtitles don't even give more context. Cause like, I was, again, Kerado Gunso. So there's a character named Natsumi, and then there's another character named Fuyuki. And they like, there's an episode where they have like little walkie talkies and their code names are Summer and, and Winter. And I started to laugh. Um, and then I realized, oh, Americans probably wouldn't get this. Because they don't know that Natsu means summer and Fuyu means winter. Mm. Dude. That's like literally the jokes of their names is the fact that Natsumi is supposed to be like the summer child, Fuyuki is the winter child, and then the mom's name is Aki, which means autumn, and the joke is, is that the father's name is Haru, which is spring. Dude. You know yeah. what the, the fucking- The whole family is named after seasons. That's the entire joke. You know what the best <laughs> one is? The what? best one is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because they they say the the copyrighted like names of the songs or bands, they say it, but then the subtitles show it as the uh, the localized version, and it's my favorite because there are so many times when it's like, oh yeah, I loved when Jotaro beat the shit out of Dan of Steel, and I'm like, his name's Steely Dan. Wait, his name's Steely Dan? Like, like the dude? Yeah, that's what oh it is. Oh my god. Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, way, I was, we were going to say both. Uh, uh, how did we start? Actually, I just feel, how did we get into like into the topic of language again? I just, I just sort of laughed. Well, if mind. you keep asking how we keep changing discussion, you will be lost forever, young child. Bro, just develop ADHD forehead. Just follow the conversation, forehead. Five head. Uh, yeah, I've been, I, I've been following it. Just it, like it's just that the reason for it, for it changing just slipped my mind. I mean, who cares how it changed, two head? Listen, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. We it's Pride Month. We don't need a straight man. Yeah, divided by two looking ass. <laughs> I love I love five head. <laughs> Five, it, it, it's um, it's four head, five head, two head, and on very, very rare occasions, one head. Nobody ever uses three head. <laughs> three head just sounds bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. Every time I hear three I head, I think of the Flintstone joke. I don't even remember. Every time Wait, I hear mud three brain, head, I just right? was was that? Hold on, was that your thing, Fagos? Was it mud brain? I don't remember. <laughs> Doodles. Hey, Doodles, how fast do you want to go? Two fast, three fast, twelve fast. Uh, I'm just here. 
Dramatically yeah, that's my that's my rant of the day. I have a headache on the side of my head. Oh hey. well, I mean, if you if you if your head is hurting, maybe you need a kiss. But yeah, that's my rant of the day. As a, as a biracial person who's incredibly tired of having to explain the same goddamn thing every fucking ten weeks. Just, just okay. So just to alleviate, y'all just look at look at the no make have wholesome. Just have wholesome. <laughs> like shit. I I I, uh, I just decided to yeah. draw this. Did I I'm in pain. Did I just indirectly compliment in my art, and then after I will had to like compliment? Uh, well, yeah, you com well you compliment yourself and your art at the same time. Yes, I didn't realize that until now. <sighs> oh shit, guys, guys. What? What? I need to stream Cruel Deville in the chat someday. Wait, I movie? would sooner when die. It gets, yeah. When it gets released, Isn't it when out? it's like released for free, yeah, it's out. It's out, but you have to pay thirty fucking bucks for like an online streaming. So when it's out on Disney Plus by itself, we're gonna creep in and we're gonna. I'm gonna force everybody in the cloud palace to watch it with me. I can't, I can't wait to watch the. I can't wait to watch that one ending for Mortal Kombat Four. I can't wait to see them. The fucking the famous because Dalmatians killed my mom. Okay, that that that's what I was talking about. It's so silly, and I know I said that the jump is like a second too early, but I watched it again. I'm like, oh, this the jump is a second too late because you see the Dalmatian jump, and for a whole second she's standing there past impact, and then she has this little fucking Looney Tunes jump. It looks so silly that it looks like they fast forwarded her. Okay, and then she's what... over the rail somehow. She's not even like that close to the rail. And I'm still wondering, like, how the hell do you fall over the rail? The point of the rail is to stop you. How'd you fall over without the dog? <laughs> also, like the graphics on like the when she's falling is so bad. Dude. Like, it's like fucking Skyrim rag doll right there. Anyway, what you were going to say, Bolt? I still remember one joke I made. Man, this cut. Man, this cut scene. Man, this cut scene from the Emperor's New Groove really is hilarious. Wait, what do you mean we're supposed to take this seriously? Uh, yeah. A lot like, of the, I, like I did, I didn't think like I didn't think you could make I didn't think you could make the I didn't think you could make maleficent malef the the concept of maleficent dumber, but they somehow did it. Well, the a, a lot of uh, I've I've heard a lot of people compare the new Cruella movie to Joker, so I'm I figure there there's a pretty good chance that that is where they were. What they were ripping off instead more of Maleficent. Because Maleficent was, uh... <laughs> Maleficent was a thing, for sure. But it was, it was a kind of... A bad thing, but it was a thing. <sighs> it was a thing. Um... But, like, at the end... Uh, but that one was more trying to make uh, a villain, I guess, more... Sympathetic. It wasn't supposed to be, you're rooting for the bat person because they like they, they went out of their way to try to make Maleficent not as much of a bad person in the movie yeah, at least I, if I recall correctly I always, um it has been I a always, while yeah I always describe like like if the like if the Lion King if uh, stuff like the Lion King beating the beast stuff stuff like that is what happens when they don't when they don't try at all to make it to make it unique Maleficent is when they try too too hard and, and end up and end up taking away the stuff that made the or, the original movie good, and somehow making other problems with the right. original movie Take worse. Take care, Joseva. But yeah, um. Take care, Joseva. 
Yeah, no, if if I recall correctly, Maleficent, they, they tried to make Maleficent not a bad person. With Cruella, from what yeah. I've been hearing, they don't care about making Cruella a good person, they just want to make her sympathetic. So they, they show her basically getting completely fucking stepped on for a, a while, and, you know, the whole thing with the mother dying to Dalmatians thing. And then, like, suddenly all of her motivation comes to light, and then we're just watching, like, an absolute psycho for the rest of the movie, from what, I'm, from what I've been hearing. So it's, it's way more comparable yeah. to that of Joker than it is to Maleficent. I'd say it's more comparable to Ruby Volume 8 episode, whichever was the one where we got the Cinder backstory, but that's also fair. I mean, <laughs> my, I, I, whatever floats your boat. I, I, I honestly am curious about uh, Cruella, if only if, if it's not only for like the, the, the curiosity peaking me. Because, you know, curiosity can be damned sometimes. So... I'm very curious about that movie. I I I know I'm a masochist. Do I give a shit? No. I I really don't give two shits. That's <laughs> too. Anyways, it's like God. I do need to. Okay, unrelated. But I do need to fix my sleep schedule because, like, for the last two weeks, I couldn't sleep, like, a lot. Most I get is like three hours of sleep, or at most five. It's just not good. Should I take your way to the ground. Uh. God, the puns on my knife tweet. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> they must, they must cut deep. No! Uh, no, it, it was uh, what was it? So, there was one from. Uh, was, uh, there, yeah, Gabe the Green. It was like I guess the knife wasn't cut out for this line of work. And then Musha saw me say, I'm gonna let that one sink in. And uh, <laughs> Musha just posted a, a, a sink at the front door. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the puns. Oh. <laughs> uh, let that sink uh, in. I, 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 can, I, think I, can, I think I can literally hear Nebby's silence. Ah. What? I was reading something. Uh, okay. I haven't really been listening, I was reading. No. <laughs> uh, uh, you you were just reading. Oh yeah, by the way, Nezzy, I remember you mentioning that at some point you wanted to teach people about, like, uh, certain, like, Japanese slang, I think, at one point. Because you showed up, you, you, like, you showed a book in the chat before, like, a couple of weeks ago. And, like, people wanted to learn, like, you know, certain words and shit. And, like, um, I read all of them, and I think I might have butchered some of them. Like, that's kind of, like, the, the thing, uh, that I recall. Tippy, tippy, uh, look, guys, look, guys. I would like to go to sleep, but on the other hand, I cannot because uh, roosters are still cock a doodle doodly. I hate it. I really, really do. I don't, I, I don't want to sleep in the, with those motherfuckers going in on a cock a doodle doodling spree. They annoyed the fuck out of me. I just stop. Yeah. Man, if they're if they're doing if they're doing that much doodling, they must be a great artist. 
Oh my god. That was a good one. You, you okay, that one. was a good one. I'm, I'll admit. I'll, 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 I'll admit defeat. This one is good. This one, this joke is good. I'll admit defeat. This one is not, this one is not bad. It's like, if, if they're doodling, then they must be a good artist. I don't get it. Uh, because I said, uh, I said that the rooster shark no, 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 no. I, I, I thought that it was supposed to be a joke. I don't get it. How does, <laughs> how does, how does the word doodle imply great artist? I don't get it. Uh, because, and mainly because, mainly because the, the word doodle is often associated with art and art, but, but I don't even bother. I don't get it. One could okay. also, uh, one could also just say that Doodle is, is good at art, so... Oh, but you see, that would that be could wrong. Also... Yeah, you could also go that way. Yeah, yeah you could also that'd go that way. That'd be wrong, be though. Correct. No, it'd be wrong. Oh, come on. I'm... Oh, come on. Having such a hard... Or I was having such a hard time drawing this. I mean... Well, I, I understand the struggle of, you know, drawing, like, certain art poses and stuff. That that can be a bitch sometimes. But, like, you're yeah. still... It, it, it's very recognizable, honestly. Now, I, I, I kind of like... I, I kind of like your... I, I do like your art style, though. It's very easy to, like, distinct this art style compared to some of the other art styles I've seen. The, there's a thing when it comes to like distinct art styles. I think like it like for those that are like artists in in like in the Cloud Palace or, or or for those that are in the chat, I think like there's like distinct art styles that one can identify relatively quickly when it comes to uh like for example certain quirks and shit, like certain aesthetics or quirks or like. How like identifiable it is when it comes to Tippy's general stuff. anatomy. Tippy's general anatomy in my eyes, friggin' me. Okay, the way I draw anatomy is like, <sighs> like it, it's it's like the general anatomy can vary, but I think the one aspect that I can easily identify my art still would be like the eyes as well, because it's too moy. The face too. The, the 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 um the uh face can be very mole aesthetic wise uh yours is like the eyes obviously uh the shading like the type the way you shade your characters as well uh and with doodle is just the overall aesthetic of it being like very cartoony And, and, and it's like, it's very easy to identify. No, uh, uh, okay. Let's see, I wonder if my art is distinctive. Ah, uh, okay. Don't kill me for this, Fagos, but I haven't seen your art yet. Don't kill me for this. <laughs> Don't kill me for this. Don't kill me. Ready. I I have a feeling that someone will go and have a, have a bullet in my head. I think my Z shaped side. I, I'm getting the big gun. Oh, I, I jinxed it. I'm scared. No, Fagos, don't get the big gun. No, no, Wait, what? Don't get, don't get the big gun. Uh, Fagos is getting the big gun because I said I haven't seen uh, Fagos art yet. Fagos art, that was like, that's I it. That... Getting me mallet. Yeah, exactly. I'm getting me mallet. <laughs> Don't get the big shotgun. No. No. Where's the shot? That's it, Tippy. Your Z axis is gone! <laughs> The ammo for the big gun is plushies. Dragon Knight, 
You know what? That would be literally me. Because I like plushes too much. I'm like Donnie to a lesser extent though. I'm like Donnie to a lesser extent. I love plushes. I love me some plushes, but at the same time though, uh, like, but at the same time though, I can't have a lo whole load of plushes. I still have my Savo plushie, so that's good. Hey! Sub, Savo plushie, thank you. God damn, okay. I did, I just did, didn't, did I just did cute noises again? I just, uh. Yeah. Uh, it's inevitable. Gun, but it fire tip your plush instead of bullet. Okay, if you try to shoot me, I'm going to shoot any. Okay, well, my character has like the big guns that can turn into a sword and still design into a sword. Wait, what? Tippy packs heat now. Yes. My Chippy have the, the my my OC has the big guns and anyone wants to show shoot me and something I'm gonna shoot you in the, in, in the ass. This all happened Her as a part of revenge because hmm? Her neutral special she wields a gun. Exactly. Like here's the thing, even before making my OC have guns, like Nero, like my previous OC had guns too. Had a gun and that was mean to hell and back. And then like this is this is a head cannon, but my OC existed because of the amount of bullying he caused me to Miro. That's just my head cannon. Like oh. he he bullied Miru so much that you, now you, no, Miru no longer exists. Now Michi exists, and Michi has guns, so shoot at Ki for vengeance. <laughs> it's just that's kind of like the thing where Ki, for an entire year, like back in 2019, for an entire year, he he used me as a projectile and crap, and and used me for memes. And like, um, so I I got back at him in in the in the co-op for like payback, and uh, I was thinking to myself, if I move to, I was thinking to myself, hey, my new OC can have guns, and that would be like the entire head cannon as to why Miru no longer exists because it because he brought in a monster. Yeah. 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 Like, friggin... We've been joking a lot of recently about like what a f uh, CC fighting game would be like. And I'm just imagining <laughs> like <laughs> Tippy just with gun. Yeah. Tippy being Tippy literally playing like now Toshiro Gane from Persona 4 of Arena. You say that, but um, like... Take your word for that, because I don't know, but... Yeah, no, it's like... Just... To be wielding a gun. Like, Bolt, you nope. say that, yeah. but later that you know that a part of the design for Miru... Like, Michi, or at least like my current OC. Wait, I, why am I calling myself, like, myself in third person? Why am I calling myself hey, a me person? Meanwhile, I'm just... Meanwhile, I'm just Shiro Emiya. Though, now with the new pride icon, I kinda look like... I kinda look like friggin' Makoto Naegi. <laughs> See... <laughs> yeah... See, I feel like if... I feel like if there was a, a fighting game character, I'd be the joke character. The obligatory joke character. Because, like, how would you get... Like, how would you get a, a fighting style based on, like, my commentaries and stuff like that? Unless... Uh, you had oh, I just... know what you do. It was like, unless you just had, like, a bunch of my characters come in to do the attacks for me, how would you uh, encapsulate my commentaries? 
Um, uh, maybe a gear, a gear, a gear-based projectile move set. I think that could work. I was just gonna I say you throw them at people. Like a gear-style projectile could work. Phoenix, right from you. Uh, three, maybe. Uh, let me, let me look. Let me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They did put Phoenix right in uh, in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I, I, I know forgot. Did, but I don't know. I don't know his his. Don't know his his fighting style. So let me let me see this. <laughs> it's it's really goofy. I love it. Like him, him and Villager is, are just are are two of my faves of that regard. Where. It's, he's just a clumsy asshole. Hey. I, I just love using Villager as a troll character thanks to the bowling balls. And oh, combined yeah, with yeah, yeah. Sage. Oh. Combined with like for those who have faced me in Smash, they know the they know the terror when I enter troll mode. Oh yeah, no. I I I I, I have seen uh, you using villager in 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 that troll mode, and I'm like, please stop! This is annoying. I think I took part of that once, and then afterwards I just, I I just quit. Umbris, I wouldn't know how you play because I don't. Umbris, I wouldn't know how you play because I don't really know your commentaries very well. I don't know if you even have a lore. Cause that would be like the best way to come up with a with a move set for for uh, for a character in this scenario is like whether or not they have like a lore or some shit. Like with Boon, Boon Boon Cannon has like a lot of references to wrestling and stuff like that. So Boon would have like a very wrestling centric kind of move set. With uh, Tippy, Tippy is introducing all of these th this this arsenal of weapons that she has. So she has gun. Um, you have uh, Volt here with his like swords and his staffs and, or and shit like that or whatever he's got going on in, in his lore that he's gonna be preparing for. Uh, and you, you got all that. Aaron's got like a whole fucking RPG move set for his his character. You have. Um, you have, like, Donnie and, and Gale. Grant you, they don't have lores for their videos, but they're Pokemon. So you've got that. Um... You've got, and like, uh... And that's Donnie. Yeah, yeah. You've got a couple references to some of TP's videos for, for if you wanted to do that. Like, you have, like, a... Knife. Like, T, TP has knife, yeah. <laughs> knife insta-kill. Um, Knife that can kill. Knife that can um, kill the afterlife. Yoon's got ideas uh, for lore. Has, I know. Has, um, I know. Keaton has. Uh, Keaton has. She. She may not have lore behind her character's strength, but she does have established feats of kicking people's doors in. This is true. Ah! Um. But yeah, you have like. I know Yoon's got a plan for lore. I know Vega's got plan for lore. Um. Scarlet, Scarlet's the bitch with the cannon. She's also got <laughs> fire moves, so. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, I just I figured who, out who the. Who all the, remembers? The, the, who, hold on. Who all remembers that Scarlet used to be called the bitch with the cannon? Me. I remember. Only. Uh, I remember, I had to have that explained to me. I, I just um, I just thought about who the uh the 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 final boss character that's fucking impossible to beat that you don't get to play as Brooke I see that's realized I see that's realized something yeah. on top of the dual blades and, and the elemental abilities given my commentary lore there would also be other there could probably be other random elements introduced to the to my moveset thanks to one specific thing the Ava phone. Oh yeah, the Ava phone. See. All right, I I, yeah. I need a dip. Uh, this headache's getting worse. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care, Nizzy.
But yeah, no, see, the idea that I'd have for but my like... character, because, like, the idea that I'd have for my character, because, like, I don't really have, like, an actual fighting game, like, aesthetic going on, or I don't have something that would easily be translated into such, was, like, um, for, like, for, for one attack, right? So say I'd, like, do a... I'm, I'm kind of, like, drawing this on, on screen, so I don't know if you guys can, can see it, but, like, say, like, a special move, something like that, um, and I send out another character or something to, to do the attacks for me, because I just have, like, a lot of characters, and that's kind of the, the gimmick that I have going on. Uh-huh. So it'd be something like this, uh, and if, I... if you guys can see it on screen, like... Yeah. Oh my god, Master Shadow, did you just say- Oh, Tippy's a Joker's Echo Fighter. Hey. <laughs> Saradust. Hello. No, you know what? I know- Okay. Saradust would be the fighting game equivalent of the Gundam Thunderbolt soundtrack. Ah! And if you know what that means, if you know what that means- One day I will know what that means. Dude. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm just going to send it to you, and we're going to listen to the whole thing later, Sarah Dus, you if know you're what? cool with that. Fair enough. Because yeah, it, it's, you, can, you can't quite capture the magic of Gundam Thunderbolt's OST uh, without listening to it. It's, 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 just, it's just too good. That's fair enough. I get it. But yeah, um, Yeah, I know, but I just came in here to- Oh, uh, yeah, you go first. Well, no, go ahead. Oh, no, I was gonna say, I was gonna make a joke, like, man, I cannot believe you guys. I can't believe you would break Tippy on stream and do it without me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was pretty based. Uh, uh... But yeah, um... Uh, as, as far as like the, the CC fighting game idea, like depending on how the move sets and stuff like that work, there are like other things you could do with me solo, like one move where I throw an Iron E or some shit like that, because that's been a recurring gag in my videos uh, for God hand. knows how long. Yo like hand, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, hand would be one of the characters I'd be able to send out or something, you know? Like that was. That oh was my God, idea. you do. <laughs> Cause you like, do the the Jotaro aura aura, but with hand. Well, no, cause like my the idea that yes. I had, right? The idea that I had would be like I I use a move and like it would, like, not it wouldn't permanently summon a character, right? It would just be like oh my move would would have like the animation of I send out a character, uh, to to attack okay. for me or some shit like that. Um. Yeah. So, got in you. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I. I literally have that no friends. I'll, 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 I'll show you footage, and you it's like you'll be like, yeah, that's the one. Okay, cause like, yeah, I don't have any frame of reference for that one, but like, yeah, that's that's like the best way I could see you doing mine. Uh, of course, as I said, there are a couple of things you would be able to reference to, um, like that with just my solo stuff, but. I think that would be the best way to do it. Overall. Look, I have an idea for how my moveset would work, but I can't say anything because that involves spoilers. <laughs> yeah. So, do you feel I, like uh... the moveset documents for how you'd imagine us? I think it'd be an interesting approach for someone who's a fighting game developer. Um, I don't know. I tried. By the way, I, I just drew. I I once tried making a fighting game. Um, I did not get very far because uh, the thing that I was using makes everything five times more difficult than it really needs to be, and I ran out of steam very very fast. Look, 
I know I came up with a few ideas, but then I, but then the few ideas I did come up with, I just moved in my brain, in my mental space to a completely different project. I will not, I will not ever fucking rest until my spiritual successor to Devil May Cry comes out. Fair enough. <laughs> No, it's like I, I have the experience some like somewhat with game design. It's a very beginner's experience. Like, I know what I'm doing to a degree. I just don't have the energy to do it very often. <laughs> maybe, fuck okay, it. Maybe one of these days I'll do like. A game where you can just interact with each of the AU doodles or have each of the AU doodles interact with each other, but like. <laughs> Fuck it, maybe I'll make a Fire Emblem Doodle Edition. <laughs> like, I sat there and thought about oh, it. I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> if anyone's going to make Fire Emblem Doodle Tones, it's me. Holy <laughs> shit, the Doodle Tones RTS. Well, no, because like. The Doodle you have Tones all the... Jerp, yeah. You have all RTC the, real time because cause like you have all the you have all the the character interactions and stuff like that to to, to like the, the support interactions and like do you realize how much you could you could actually do that with the characters on like in my lore? Yeah, for real. That'd be like very easy to do. Yeah, straight up. What, no, if you just just made a, what if you just like, made a video game, Doodle Tones? I'm just imagining like the Doodle, like the the Doodle Tones RPG, and one of it's just on the ship, and one of the bosses is just the faulty wiring. <laughs> you have to beat the sh you have to beat the shit out of appliances until right, they work. So how long? And until and their dysfunction the is damaged. Huh? How long until you get to um, the attacks in this? Like the things that you're showing me. Oh, uh, fuck. Hold on. Yeah, I forgot. There's... You have to actually watch a video to know where the video is. Yeah, no, um, like, fucking... Moral uh, of the story, when you're trying to show oh, someone... Oh, uh, in the... Yeah, 325 is, is, uh, where he talks about the Ginyu Force. 325, okay. Yeah, it, it's timestamped in the, in the... Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I, 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 that, that, that is kind of more what I, I was thinking. Yeah, something, something along those lines. Oh my god, but what if you just did the various, like, you just did poses, and as you did poses, that pose represented a different doodle tones. You pose as a letter of the alphabet. Pose as a letter of the alphabet. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Nezzy being like Milia Rage. Well, Nezzy's, uh, I think Nezzy's thing right now is, or the, the thing that Nezzy has added to their character is, uh, being a fencer. So, oh. that, uh, that on its own has a whole move, like, that just makes its move set for you. Being yeah, a, no, a literal just... fencer. <laughs> yeah, no, she sounds like she'd be, like, a bit of an annoying zoner to deal with. God, you know who else would be an annoying zoner to deal with? Who? Me. Oh my god. <laughs> cause like... Oh, fuck. Cause, cause like... Rayman person. For starters. Like, that's, all, that's already the bit. <laughs> well, has it been shown that Avi... Or Avibot can, uh, like... Move the arms and legs out that fat, or the arms out that far in particular. Well, one of the original avatar poses is, is his hands being lost. Fair enough, then. Dang, that is one of the original posts. <laughs> one of the like, I God, man, I. Mm, you know what? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about it. <laughs> I'm kind of yeah, thinking about. Just things as they come by, and like, uh, yeah. 
What kind of fighter would I be with the short swords and elemental powers? Hmm. I imagine Bull would probably be like a close range fighter with like one or two projectiles that function differently from each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. Or alternatively, there is the idea that the fi that the fire element comes in during the close range attacks, and the electric stuff comes in for long range stuff. Oh yeah, that could work. That's, Given that's that a great lightning, idea. Lightning is, usually is from like a long range, and fire usually can't be like close range really. Uh, funny enough. I was gonna, given how like my you like given my username on YouTube, it's like I'm tempted to kind of do something to compensate for my OC's design to add no. something relating to fire. But at the same time, I don't know. Tiffy. Nah, yeah, dude, Tiffy. it's fine. You can just have a comedically large gun. Wait, Tippy, hear me out. Yeah. Blue fire. Blue fire. Ooh. I mean, it's Ooh. Kind of a but yeah. You that, that. That's right, 1628 degrees Celsius, baby. Ooh, blue fire. That could that could work. Ooh. They, it, I, I, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Ooh. No problemo. <laughs> like, I could work just what? Well. Damn, it ain't thought about it. <laughs> now I have, but like, I, I guess my character could still summon fire. It's just like Miru, where she summons fire from like the palm of her hand. Mm. And the, hmm, shit. Now I have, now I, my brain, my brain is having ideas with the guns fire again. Fire gun. Okay. Look, fire no gun. matter what. No matter what, we can all agree Aaron would be like the story mode super boss, right? No, uh, Aaron would be a playable nope. character. Cause, cause, nope. Here's Aaron. the thing. Aaron, while Aaron is 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 a very, very powerful force to deal with, he's actually like got a move set for his character. He's got all yeah. of that down. So like his his and he's got like a whole RPG thing going on in his in in his stories and his, his videos and what have you. So he's got like a move set, so he'd be a playable character. There also oh, yeah, we no, agreed, like, I'm we agreed the un we agreed the brutally unfair un uh, the brutally unfair final boss that you don't get to play as is Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Because you can't you can't escape positive contacts. What are you gonna do? Fucking block? You're gonna block that overhead? God, you cannot block the overhead known as positivity. Yeah, no, but I was more thinking it's like a blaze blue thing where like you can play as the character normally, but in the story mode they have like a super powerful super boss variant that just removes all of the things that makes the characters fair and balanced. <laughs> oh yeah, like, oh, like the Hazma. Yeah, like Hazma. <laughs> Hazma, but circle. Yeah, no, Hazma, but he gets fucking race car physics. <laughs> <laughs> Bandana AI, that's what I was thinking of. Mm-hmm. So, like, my- I, I already showed this before, but, like, my OC has, like, the guns. So, like, my idea could be, like, the way my OC could summon those guns is to, like, use the flames to summon them. Yeah. Basically, what I basically sort of what I what I do with my blade with my blade where each element where they're mm -hmm. where they're at, where they are friggin' uh brought in via the element. Mhm. Mm Actually, theoretically, it could make sense too because like that could also lead to like my OC also summoning like the fire uh to. And, and turn turn the guns back into fire and then turn it into a sword. I'm friggin... You could also make it so the guns shoot fire, too. You know what? You know what? 
You know how I mentioned earlier that the 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 the, the, the guns have blue pellets and shit. Yeah. Imagine if those blue pellets, if, if if my character wants to, can turn those pellets into fire. They don't harm unless they don't harm unless they don't harm unless you make the character, you know, um, tempt to turn those pellets into uh, uh, pellets into fire. You know. Oh yeah. They don't hurt. The pellets themselves don't hurt. But if you if it someone makes it to where my character has a reason to use the fire, she'll probably like uh put her uh fire energy onto the gun and have the the pellets be bur or burnt use with the fire, you know, as a shooting range. So it's like she's still utilizing the fire uh part like the fire element. Directly. And I was thinking the sword could be like. I I'm also thinking the sword could be semi similar to the ones in C Xenoblade Blade Chronicles. You know, like the one uh, that. Uh... The Minato Arisata? <laughs> no. I I'm saying the one in Xenoblade Chronicles. I forgot the name of the protagonist again. Uh, the Wait, are you talking about the so Minato? The yeah, the Monado or the or the blade from two. Uh, the Monado, the Monado, the Monado sword. Something similar to that, the Monado sword. Sword. Like, where my idea would be like that. That sword, uh, is gen like can be used. But if generated with enough uh, firepower, uh, it'll, it'd be like a very powerful weapon. Uh, it just kind of think like the uh, okay. So the Monado, like the Monado works like the uh, I think like in Monado in Smash, where if you have like the red one with the strength, just put the equal into that. If my character really wants to put every. Every ounce of energy onto that sword just to just to like murder a bitch. Buster. Oh. Yeah, Buster. Anyway. anyway, I was about to say I've been going for two hours. Even though I'm not finished with the drawing, uh, two hours is two hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call that a stream. Later, guys. Okay.